after that abysmal performance in Australia in the last race, it's time for some sort of redemption. Welcome to the Bahrain Grand Prix, this is episode 2 of the F1 2019 career mode, and if you didn't watch the last episode, well I don't blame you, we pretty much finished last and second last and I DNF'd. 107 AI is, or 105 AI, I don't know, is not the way to go this year, I think the AI are much quicker this year than they were last year. So I've bumped the difficulty down to 101 to see where they are. You're going to have to excuse me for some of these episodes because I'm going to be changing the difficulty just to find that sweet spot. And once I find that sweet spot in the difficulty, then I'll let you guys know. But we're having some upgrades. We have to be relentless with these upgrades. We have the second best engine on the grid right now, only behind Mercedes. But it's really the downforce and the chassis wise that we're losing out on. So if we work on that, then hopefully we can get some decent results by mid-season. We're, hopefully we're catching up to Alfa Romeo, but there's still a lot of uh, work to do. But anyway, it's time for the Bahrain Grand Prix. There's something in the Bahrain air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the sand. Our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Bahrain has showed us many times in the past though, Anthony Davidson, that a good strategy will only take you so far. Beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion, Valtteri Bottas. And Gasly with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Hamilton, Weber, Perez, Hulkenberg, and Daniel Ricciardo. Grosjean, Norris, Kevin Magnussen, and Stroll, Thomas, Sainz, Kimi Raikkonen, and Devon Butler. Russell and Alexander Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. I know what you can do, don't let me down. So surprisingly, I qualified P15 and ahead of Carlos Sainz in the McLaren. That's, that's very unique. Now, I don't know if that's true pace or just the AI or, but hopefully with the AI turned down to 101, hopefully we can have more fights and make these videos more interesting. So hopefully um these races can be really more interesting because last thing you want to see is just me in the in last place just all by myself as far as uh, setups is concerned i still don't know you know where you know what way the setup goes this year if it's high downforce low downforce high wings low wings tire pressures suspension geometry now, i've tried a couple times to see what works from last year's game but i can't really i don't really know what the sweet spot is so I'm going to have to do more research. But I think the goal of this race is just to finish. Just to finish this race and maybe if we can, maybe uh, maybe scoring the points. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Alright, coming through onto the start. Starting grid for the start of the bar in Grand Prix. 15th place, Stroll is on the soft tyres. So we'll have the advantage later on in the stint. Carlos Sainz, Kimi Raikkonen, we've actually are qualified above our expectations. Hopefully we can finish this race. That's all we're looking for is five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And Stroll's got a great start and Carlos Sainz as well has also got a great start as well. I mean, as you expect on the medium tyres. Oh, bit of wheel banging with our teammate there as we go in towards turn one. We can't, can't, uh, can't have contact. Otherwise that will pretty much ruin our race. 
I have to say the graphics are stunning in the night time, I mean, you can't deny that. As we head up the hill in towards turn 3, Carlos Sainz going defensive as we go around the outside of our teammate, George Russell. What a move that is, around the outside of our teammate, George Russell, into turn 3. And now, the air section of turns 4 and 5, as we go downhill. If we can try and overtake Carlos Sainz, that'll be good. He leaves the gap open, and there it is, so, we, so we're back into P15 after a couple of uh, shuffling in the midfield. And now, let's see if we can catch uh, Lance Stroll in that uh, racing point Force India. If Stroll leaves the gap open, I'm going for it. I have to start moving up positions. There's the gap right there. And now we're in P14. Lovely overtake there, and I think that's probably going to be my, my corner when it comes to overtaking. And hopefully we can get the next car. So Magnussen's next. And uh, he has a decent car. So hopefully let's try and cling on to the slipstream and get him. Lap 4 of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And Stroll is catching up to us. That racing point is quick in a straight line. As we've got a massive fight. Oh look at this. Massive fight here. That's for what? P10? Oh! Oh! Bit of contact there between the two Renaults. What happened there? Very interesting. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. So let's let's so let's take a look at what happened here. Let's see. So that's uh, Grosjean or Magnussen. That's Grosjean, I think. So who do we go with first? Let's go with the Renault first. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. So that force in there just just pushes him wide. Let's see. I think that's the Stroll. I think. Yeah, okay, so this is the Haas on the inside. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so it wasn't him, he, he just avoided it, so it was the Force India who pushed him wide. So yeah, that's Daniel Ricciardo. He, got, he gets pushed wide there from, I think it's uh, Perez. And then he crashes into Nico Hulkenberg, and I think Hulkenberg is damaged. Wow, and then you just see me on the, on the, on the bounce. Yeah, this is Daniel Ricciardo, so... Yeah, he tries to turn in and just Perez just forced him completely off track. And then he has to fight for the position against me and Nico Hulkenberg. So, wow, okay, the AI are really fighting hard. Hopefully they can spot my breaking zone into that corner. I've had, very, I've had a very tough time with that all race weekend, with that corner just locking up with the front left. Here we go, around the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. Oh, that's close. Can we make the move? Oh, we've done it. What a move. What a move. Around the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. Wow. What a move that is. I think, yeah, I have to see that one again. Wow. What a, look at, look how close was that. I don't, I don't, was there even contact there? Wow. Like, I don't even know if there was contact. I think it looked like there was contact, but... What a move around the outside that was. I mean, the graphics... I have to say the graphics again. The graphics do look stunning. I mean, they have done... Oh, look at look at that. Let's see. Oh, look how close that was. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Sergio Perez in that racing point. He's got the same engine as us. And slightly a better car. We can use the momentum there. Wow, and they got taken out there by Magnussen on the switchback. DRS. Rich Mix DRS. Let's move to the inside. His tyres are going on. Well, going off. And Perez is going to fight back. But well, we've, we've done him around the outside. That's good, so we're P11 now. And hopefully we can catch Nico Hulkenberg. Will Perez fight back? He's getting closer, he's getting closer. Nope, he won't, so that's P11 for us. I'm starting to get into a very good rhythm with this car and this track right now, and I'm, up, I'm getting up the field in P9. Take this corner. Oh, no! Oh, whoops! The same kerb that spun me out on F1 2018. Oh, God. Oh, and the safety car's come out. Why is safety car came out? Wait, is, is, is someone retired? Wait. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. 
Wait, you mean to tell me that a safety car came out because of my spitting? Wait, as if, as if a safety car came out because I spun the car. If, is anyone retired? I mean, I can't see any. Let's look down the field. I, I can't see anyone who's retired. Nope. No, but wasn't any of them Ferraris or Red Bulls? No. Wasn't Charles Leclerc? Okay, so a safety car's out because I spun. <laughs> oh, wow. A safety car has came out because I spun on the long right-hander on the auto-spin cab. And wow, it looks like everyone is going into the pit lane. And why not? It makes sense to pit. I mean, everyone who's doing the two-stop now is now ultimately going to do the one-stop. And let's see what we're going to put on. Oh, and we're going to get held up here by... Oh, God. Why did we get... Uh, we're going to lose so much time in the pit stops now. Let's see. So, yep, medium tyres again. And 4.17... Uh, 4.1 seconds, and we're in 17th place. Uh, God. Alright, so the safety car is coming in this lap. And we're on fresh tyres in the Bahrain Grand Prix. And. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, it's yellow flags. I'm not allowed to overtake during the yellow flags. If we can get a good exit here. Uh, that was a decent ish exit, but not the best compared to Perez. And we are back underway for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And Perez making a move on that Ricardo or his teammate. Oh no, Butler. It's Butler, look at that, three wide. Going into turn one. Yeah, oh. Massive, massive tank slapper there on the rear end. And Carlos Sainz is looking feisty. This race is just really heated up as Sainz goes down the inside. I've got to leave him room. Track extended a little bit. Oh wow. Albon going around the inside. Hopefully we can still get 17th and we do. Whew. Whew, that was close. Right. Right, time to catch uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Okay, so I've created some separation between myself and Albon. And now I can focus on Kimi Raikkonen in that uh, Alfa Romeo. As look at that, there's a massive train of cars from 15th. Wow. Look at that. So there goes Raikkonen. Just mugged them off around the outside, and now hopefully we can take Daniel Ricardo. That's not Ricardo, that's Magnussen. <laughs> Let's see if we can dive bomb Magnussen or send it around the outside. No, we can't. Losing the back end once again there, but if we can, if we can have some good momentum, we should be able to take him from this corner. Break really late, and ah, uh, nothing's gonna happen though. So. But it's there though, the, his position is there for the taking, so. I'll tell you what, the AI have a massive fight. Look at that, Magnussen. Magnussen's getting held up by my teammate, Russell. And I've just mugged them off around the outside like I did with Raikkonen. <laughs> Hopefully we can take Lance Stroll, uh, Lance Stroll, <laughs> George Russell. Let's see if we can, if we can overtake our teammates as we get tail happy once again he's still there the AI really love to fight you on this game don't they wow this is a much better race than than Australia <laughs> wow all right so here goes Ricardo on a move on Butler I'm gonna try and follow Ricardo's slipstream the inside lines being blocked nicely there by Devin Butler but hopefully oof nearly made contact there with the rear of Daniel Ricciardo but hopefully we can try we have the momentum we also have DRS to have the inside line if we can just break oh that's too late too late we've broke and that's going to concede one and two positions but Ricciardo we actually have better traction than Daniel Ricciardo and that's P12 alright so into the oh, very close there between the speed limiter into the pit stops for our second pit stop of the race. This will be our last pit stop. We're going to go from the mediums to the hard compounds. And if you still don't know the difference, the uh, softs to the mediums. So, yeah, I don't know 
I don't know how everyone will, will recognise these tyres, if it's the softs or the mediums or the hards, I don't know. But anyway, let's see where we come out, and we come out in 12th place, and we actually do the overcut on George Russell, so 12th place it is, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can try and uh, catch uh, Kevin Magnussen. So there it is, end of the race. Charles Leclerc wins the Bahrain Grand Prix like he should have done in real life. But around the final corner, it's going to be P12 for the Bahrain Grand Prix. And that's a very decent performance, considering where this car really is. That was actually a great race. A lot of battles, a lot of overtaking that I had to do. And, uh, yeah, that was a very exciting race. We didn't score in the points, but ultimately, we finished in P12, which is very, very decent. I don't know where... There, uh, Charles finished though, so the yeah, the there he is. Charles Leclerc wins the race, in Bahrain. I think Hamilton came track, second and Vettel came third. It. I'm not really but sure, no but uh, that in a yeah, that was a that was a very good race. Now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world. So Charles Leclerc takes his first victory of the season, and Vettel actually came second. So. Charles Leclerc actually wins and it's a Ferrari 1-2 at Bahrain and Ferrari seems to be back to their dominant ways on the F1 career mode they usually always dominate especially in Bahrain I think Vettel always won the races in Bahrain on last year's game and he even won on F1 2017 as well so yeah that's it we finished 12th I don't know where George Russell finished I think he finished 14th now he finished behind us, so 12th and 13th for the no for the Williams mind, boys to to as we head what towards China. So very decent the result there. China there should be it's another track that we do well at, long straights. And hopefully we get some more upgrades to do the downforce. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. 30 likes for this video. That would be much appreciated. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.